Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in into another interview with another banger with the extremely most talented artist from Oregon. So what is your name and state where you're from, homeboy? Many different names. Dr. Weathers Double Tap. Not really a doctor. I just got the initials, man. State where I'm from, that'd be uh, Oregon, Southern Oak. 541, that'd be my area code. So I know we talked a little bit about where you're from, man, but I want you to tell the people and let them know who got you started in Battle Lab and how did you discover it and what was your first song that you put out? Thank God for Ziploc, the legendary American rapper from 2006, still making beats. Ziploc! Much love, brother. If it wasn't for Ziploc, you wouldn't be able to keep the weed in the bag or the dope on the track. Now, as far as the first track I ever made on Band Lab, I can't remember that. But I can tell you the most played track that I do have on Band Lab is called Wanted Poster. Recorded that as a part of a band called Measured by Status. Because I see a band without any music in it. I want to make some projects. I want to put up some instrumentals, leave a couple open verses, and see what we can do. Maybe run into the next best artist. Well, your most played track. How did that track come upon? Were you just streaming down beats, or did you already have this written down, or is it just a pure freestyle? It's always a pure freestyle, always flying by the seat of my pants. I let the music guide me, kind of like the ocean if you were a surfer. Love being inside that tube. It's like I am when I'm on the mic. When I'm in that pocket, I don't never want to drop it. So what are the influences in your life that make you want to put out music? And what inspires you to make you want to be the best of today? I'll tell you what inspires me to make the best of today. Because what if tomorrow never came? And if tomorrow never came, and I didn't give it my best while I was in the game, and I didn't make you feel what I was talking about, what I was saying, that just means that you heard me. You didn't feel me. You feel me? If it wasn't for my nephew, Justin Jenkins, J-Dub, my music would still be locked up in an encrypted vault, airtight, and would have never seen the day of light. So as 2019 is coming to a near end, I have to ask you, man, what do you have planned for 2020? What can we expect from Dr. Weathers, Double Tap? You know what I'm saying? I want you to tell the people what you got up your sleeve and you got going on that these people don't know. Well, what I got up my sleeve is more than most. I got a whole bag of tricks up there, man. But it's not really magic. And they ain't really tricks. But when you've been served slap for so many years, it might seem like it is. And that might seem like what you want. But not me. So I had to create some music that I want. Some music that I bump music that actually meant something but not just to me no doubt this music is still my therapy and always will be but now i'm just choosing to share it with the rest of the world you know make you laugh make you cry make you feel what i was feeling when i was going through that time make you cry if you lost somebody like i lost in my life some are close cut from a different cloth you don't make them like that no more or maybe you just want to make the concrete crack from your subs. Or maybe drown out life because it's become too much. And you just need an escape. Have I said too much? Nah, big dog. That's perfect, man. I like the enthusiasm that you put when you're doing this interview and you're through your music. But I also got to ask you, man. What is your favorite collab off top? Well, the most interesting one would probably have to be the one entitled Temptation, which I did with uh, Kirk. A user named Kirk598. Most inspirational would have to be Fell for Hip Hop with Broke Bugatti. Then you got Golden Child is bringing me nothing but bangers. Probably he, uh, love it, man. That'd be my favorite from Golden Child. And let's not forget the background we're using right here is Weather Report, one of my favorites from page one. Last but not least, my producer, Good Low Music. We're working on something savage for 2019. May bleed into Twomp Twomp. We'll see how things go. For now, take a listen to the song, No Love. Definitely one of my favorites. Also, Big Dog, I have to ask you, because everyone wants to know, man. What are you willing to accomplish through your music? 
Well, I'm trying to accomplish enlightenment, bringing back common sense to the common man and real music to the streets that we can all hear and be proud of again. I know it's a big feat, but I'm going to take it on because I got big feet. And you know what they say about a man with big feet. Got big shoes to fill. Keeping it humble, trying to be the very best. And don't forget about the split, 60-30-10. Confidence, cockiness, and a little bit of zen. Well, it's about that time, man. I'm going to wrap this interview up. Is there any last words you want to give to your fans or to the listeners? And can you also plug in your social media outlets so we can find you and they should explore your music, big dog. Well, I simplified it for y'all. You can catch me at tinyurl.com slash 541heat. tinyurl.com slash 541heat. Shout, Shout out, out to, to JGD. JGD.